No, we are in the hospital because we have heart disease. You and your family can't find any donors, so the doctor decides that you will have to get an artificial heart. Artificial hearts are very different from real hearts and have an amazing history, work differently than real hearts, and have many pros and cons that hearts don't. More people die from heart disease than anything else. Heart disease causes nearly 40,000 deaths per year. There are not enough donors for even 50% of people to have one. Therefore, scientists needed to find a way to save everyone who had heart, dis heart disease. So in 1956, Dr. William Jerome Kolf invented the first artificial heart and implanted it on dogs. Dr. Kolf teamed up with the medical engineer named Robert Jarvik to improve the, the artificial heart he built. In 1982, Robert Jarvik made the Jarvik 7, which was made from aluminum and plastic. At first, people would only have it for a few days until they got a real heart. But as techn technology progressed, people are now able to live several years with an artificial heart. And maybe someday people will be able to live multiple decades with an artificial heart. Just like artificial hearts and any other artificial objects, artificial hearts don't work like real hearts. For example, artificial art hearts are often attached to cords that will come that are inside of your body. Artificial hearts obviously do not have features like that. There are seven parts to an artificial heart. The bending cavus, the aorta, the left and right atrium, and the left and right ventricles. And the pulmonary artery. First, the right atrium collects blood. The blood is then pumped to the right ventricle to the lungs for it, for it to get oxygenated. Finally, the left atrium collects the oxygenated blood and the left ventricle pumps it to the rest of the body. Although it may seem cool to have a heart made out of aluminum, some plastic, ceramic, for animal parts, the list of disadvantages are endless. First of all, you have to wait a long time to even get an artificial heart to begin with. When someone needs a transplant for an artificial heart, they are put on a list with, which can have tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands of people on it. Once you get to the top of the list, you won't only have to pay $100,000 to $300,000, but there's also a chance that you won't survive the surgery. Even after the surgery, there is a possibility you will die because of blood, because that blood doesn't flow as smoothly with an artificial heart as it does with the real heart. Or even worse, electrical motor could fail. On top of all of that, the longest an artificial heart has lasted was eight years. Now you see why real hearts are much better than artificial hearts. Artificial hearts are evolutionary. They solve and save many lives and almost work the same, but are not as good as a real heart. What do you think? Would you want an artificial heart if you needed one?